here we are at the uh, Whispering Oaks Winery. We're boondocking. What that means is that your folks' businesses allow you to stay on their property um, for an overnight. Generally speaking, you get to purchase their products, things like that. It's a whole harvest host sort of scenario. Now, Whispering Oaks Winery is not part of that, but they used to be and they still do it. What a beautiful place. 475 N south in Sumter County, Florida. And the winery and the, the where they have the restaurant and the wines and all that stuff is right over there and that's where we're gonna be going. We've been here before, last year, uh, boondocking as well, when we first got our RV and we just absolutely fell in love with it. They have blueberry, um, Vineyards, I guess, at this yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, it's a vineyard. I mean, it's it's, right. it's wine. Um, I know most people, most people look at fruit wines and go, "What are you joking me?" But and, grapes are fruit, right? And it is true. It is really, really good. So we had it last time we were here. We had a tour with the owner, Daryl, and I uh, had some flatbread pieces with some uh, testing out all the different wines that they have. And then Friday and Saturday nights they have steak night. Now today is Friday night. I believe we have a reservation actually for tomorrow night to go to the steak night. So we're going to spend some time on Saturday just tooling around the area, checking some things out. We're just going to go in there right now and see if we can have a glass of wine. All right, let's go. All right, there's the Whispering Oaks Winery here in uh, Oxford, actually. Their address is Oxford, Florida, which is Sumter County, just south of Ocala. So let's go check it out. Beautiful countryside. Woo, Sharon's going to get some blueberry wine. Come on in. Look at this place, beautiful. We're gonna have a little blueberry wine. I know they got a steak dinner going on tonight, which we'll do tomorrow night, but we're gonna go check out some blueberry wine. It's a little early yet, but we're gonna check it out. While we're waiting for our wine flight, our blueberry wine flight, which Dawn is bringing right now, thought I'd come over and hang out with Cliff for a few seconds. Tonight, this is a gentleman cooking the steaks. Tomorrow night, we're gonna be doing a steak dinner. We have reservations, but look at that very cool stuff he's got on the open fire there. This is such an awesome place. Cliff, thank you very much, man. I appreciate you guys. This is so awesome. You got the blueberry, you got the uh, vineyards. Now, Cliff, here's a good question. Since they're blueberries, are they vineyards? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, so Cliff says they're definitely vineyards, even though they're called blue, even though they're blueberries. Well, fields, crops, you can call whatever you want. Fields, crops, or anything you want. But since it's actually made, wine is made from it, that's why you call it a vineyard. Gotcha. Since wine's made from the blueberries, you call it a vineyard. Perfect. But look at this guy. He's This guy's an artist. Those are gonna be tasty tomorrow night. All right, thanks, but I appreciate you. And there's Sharon taking pictures of her wine. For, oh my God, Sharon! Geez, you should have got a bottle. It'd been cheaper. <laughs> got our eight flight. It was so big they had to have a couple tag alongs. They had to have some tag alongs. Very nice. Look at that. All right, guys, we're gonna check out all the. Oh no, go right ahead. I don't want to interrupt. We're just doing. We got a little video blog, so we try to do this stuff. Anyway, so we're gonna try all these different flavors. See so like. we'll see what you we'll we'll let you guys know. All right, Sharon, what do, which one are you trying here, Sharon? Oh, nice bouquets. Bouquet. It tickles, it tickles the mucous membranes of my nose. <laughs> Sharon, you're you are so snooty tooty. <laughs> but anyway, she's trying this to. This is the oak preserve. This is the uh, most dry one that they have here. And it's the one that's most sought after. Actually, they quite often they're out of it. Yeah, they said fun. last time, Daryl said last time when he gave us the tour mm -hmm. that a couple of their wines, and I think this was one of them, that some of the folks that love them order cases and cases. There was a dentist or a doctor, remember him telling us that? Mm -hmm. That orders at the beginning of the season. He orders a, you know, like cases of this Oak Reserve. Yeah, and it's and not cheap. It's like 50 or 60 yeah. dollars a bottle. Yeah, we won't be getting that one for a bottle. That'll be a little expensive for it's our blood. It's a little dry for our taste. And it's a little dry, so we might go for the mildly wild or something like that. But we'll give you a little report when we figure out which one we like the best and which bottle we buy. What you doing, Sharon? I was reading the warning sign saying that I can be killed or maimed if I go beyond this fence. It's kind of bright and sunny. We're looking to the west here, but you can see the blueberry patches out there. And uh, like we were just told that it doesn't matter what the fruit is, if it's being used for wine production, it's called the vineyard. It is. So without going way out there, that's where they got all the blueberry patches, blueberry vines, blueberry bushes, excuse me, that's right, blueberry bushes. I am no horticulturalist, that's for sure. 
but you can see them all out there they got the whole working farm um, all the different stuff that they do here there are um, wine processing areas all over there and when we were here when we were here last year we did a little tour of their facility there where they actually make the wine so yeah Daryl the owner gave us that tour mm -hmm. so very cool what are you drinking there Sharon a little bit of blueberry wine nice which kind Sharon Stunningly sweet? <laughs> no. It's not no. stunningly sweet. Something sweet. Sassy sweet. Okay, Sharon, we go look at the <laughs> chart again. <laughs> Here we are talking to mom and dad on the uh, messenger flash portal. I'm going to do a whole video of this whole scenario, and you guys are going to be on the video too. <laughs> Smile. <laughs> <laughs> We decided this evening to get a little uh, flatbread. They have flatbreads here at the winery that are phenomenal. Sharon's a barbecue flatbread. I'm not a huge fan of barbecue pizza flatbreads, but they do a really good job with cheese and everything. I mean, so they're pretty good actually. And look at this beautiful setting. Tomorrow night we'll be doing a steak dinner here, but look at this. There's Jennifer, she's a great voice. There's the steak on the grill going over there. Nice. Beautiful sunset off to the side over there. Very cool. So here's kind of an overview. We're basically right in this area right here. And you can see how big with the, oh, sorry about the reflection off of that sign, or the plastic there, but you can see how big the lake is just by the perspective shot that they have here. Pretty cool, so we're gonna go hike some of these trails here, which is 2.2 miles, and the Foxtrot, which is 3.2 miles. And for your safety, under 15, that would be me, I have to be accompanied by an adult. Look at these, look at these trees, oh my gosh, it's crazy. I have to go find Sharon, here she comes now. Sharon, are you ready to go hiking? Fern Gully, Loop Trails? Hike away. Hike away. Burn some calories so we can have that delicious steak dinner tonight. Woohoo! Woo nice, I'll take mine medium rare, people. <laughs> All right, let's go check out the trails. All right, here is, um, we're gonna walk over to Lake Weir. Now that's here again in Marion County. Huge recreational lake during the summer. Water skiing, jets, jet boats, jet skis, you name it. A lot of homes on the lake. Uh, restaurants dotted along. It's a pretty sizable lake, it's pretty huge. But this is in Kearney Island Recreational Area here in the southern part of Marion County. Huge, beautiful county park. Something for everybody, hiking, boating. Uh, there's a little beach right here people are sitting at. Pretty cool. It's very, very nice. And Marion County is kind of a rural, urban-rural interface county. A lot, of, a lot of countryside. But look how big this lake is. It's ginormous, Lake Weir is. I spent 10 years living here as a firefighter. Worked for Marion County Fire Rescue. So, been around the lake a few times down in this area. So, pretty nice. Really, really nice. So, we're going to go hike. A nice little beach area, people hanging out. Look at these big oaks. These oaks have been here for a long time. How pretty they are. Central Florida is loaded with these kind of trees, these massive oak trees. Pretty dang nice. The guy that went to Selton. Is this the Shackleton or the Shackleford? Shackleford. Shackleford Trail, Sharon? Yes, it is the Shackleford. All right. We're definitely not Shackleton. It's no. Too that... hot for that. Where's Shackleton? Oh, let's check out the water. There's a little side trail. But anyway, this is a little trail runs right along Lake Weir. Alligator, alligator, alligator. <laughs> <laughs> it's like bears. Bear, 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 bear. bear. <laughs> you gotta make noise. Now they're not gonna be in the shade. See, these are cypress trees in here. The cypress knees coming up. No, the alligators are generally not in the shade. But those are all like cypress, I think, out there. Cypress knees, mm -hmm. pieces and parts of them. So. A little marsh here. All right. Some these big old trees. 
big old trees, Sharon. Look at your big old hat. Mm -hmm. Nice. Gotta protect my useful skin. Me too. <laughs> I don't have any youthful skin. That left me years ago. I have old and grizzled skin. What you got there, Sharon? We should collect a bunch of them and get a nice little basket for our little fall decor. Ooh, fall along decor. With our pumpkins. Oh, um, we got pumpkins? Mmm, <laughs> pumpkins. <laughs> I like pumpkin pie. It's always good, especially with with Ruddy Whip. <laughs> oh, how about Cool Whip for those in the audience that like Cool Whip? Plastic whipped cream? Plastic like whipped cream. Whip. They make it with real cream now. Come on. A drop. He's a big boy, whatever he is. That's like an ant of some sort. Oh, he's a big boy, though, whatever he is. Look at him go. Getting nervous. I'm going to go my shoe here in a minute. <laughs> I'm let him get on his way. All right, we finally found a nice opening in the tree line on our hike to see a great view of the lake. This is actually the western side of Lake Weir. And this is the, the point, the park, Kearney Park that's down this whole space. And then on the other side, you got the huge portion of Lake Weir uh, with C-25 surrounding it. But still nonetheless, lots of boats, a lot of homes over there, very nice. Just a beautiful lake, beautiful surroundings. And the most beautiful part of all the surroundings is right here. Sharon. Sharon's taking You're a little. A sweet talker. I am a sweet talker. All right. We're going to sit here and enjoy this for a minute. Hey, guys. We're in Kearney Park, as you know. But what I'll do is in the description below, I will put the link to this park, the county park, and also link to the winery we're staying at, Whispering Oaks, so you guys will be able to check it all out. All right? So check, check those links out. And by the way, subscribe and like us. You said a swing? Yeah, that would be a good place for a swing right there. A little rope around there. Little tire, an old tire. Look at these things. This is so cool. Massive. Years, years and years old. 247. Whoa, Sharon says 247 years. I counted the rings. Hmm. I have eagle eyes. I can see you. That's right. She's got Gulani eyes now. Look at those. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 